Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, so I have some bad news. As you can see, my inventory is empty. I died in the nether because a gas shot me off of a, a thing into lava. So I managed to lose my awesome sharpness and fire aspect sword, my latest diamond pick, but I should have a couple around here somewhere. I forget where though. Um, diamond pick, they'd be up. Um, and, oh, a sheep just landed on the, um, on my mushroom farm thing. So I still have some picks up here, so that's not a problem. Um, and I'm not worried about losing the diamonds or anything, it's just that sword was pretty awesome. And I was trying to gather some nether brick so that I could build a nice nether brick home or something, or at least use it, um, in something interesting, but that was lost as well. Um, so, yeah. And that's discouraged me a little bit, so, or at least from being here. So I am going to grab some new stuff, or grab some of my old stuff, I should say. Um, make myself a new diamond pick. I will get a level 50 enchantment on this pick. What? What was that? No, no. Give me that. I'm lagging a lot for some reason. Um, I'm going to go enchant this pick and then I will be back. Okay guys, welcome back. I just uh, refilled my inventory with stuff. I grabbed some instant healing potions just because I didn't... Get out of my bedroom! Because I didn't really know what glistering melons did, so I knew they gave health, but I didn't know if it was the regeneration or the instant health, which apparently is the instant health. Um, so I figured I might as well just take them with me. And um, I buffed them up to instant health too, and I've got a bunch of potion of swiftness all eight minutes, so um, that should help with exploring. I, I I did lose my map in the nether, and I was afraid that I'd make a new one, and I, it wouldn't have any of the stuff that I've already explored, but it seems that that's not true, so um, that worked out good. I made two more maps, and I put one in my chest, because I've heard a friend say that depending on how you make the map, um, it'll give you a different one or a new one. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm still pretty confused on that. Um, I am just going to take materials for another, another, um, map, just in case, so when I get out there, I can <coughs> make another one, and, uh, that way... I can always get more reeds out there. I just brought these sheep in here because I wanted to breed them for the for colored wool, but I, I just want to get out of this house and find a new place to live right now. Because um, I never finished the mob trap down underground, but I will come back some other time and do that. Okay, so I don't know which way to go. So I shall go... What's direction zero? Um, where is it? Um, okay, maybe they took it out? I uh, don't see it. Alright, there used to be a, um... And probably still is that I just don't see. Um... A thing somewhere up here that shows you which direction you're facing. Um... But it doesn't seem to be there. So I guess we'll just go east. Um... For the simplicity of it, I guess. Where the sun rises. I should be able to maintain this direction, no problem. I'll have to find some more reeds on the way there. I, I did pack some wheat with me and a bunch of uh, wood. <coughs> and I've got the stuff for that. I brought a block of, or a stack of block of iron blocks just so I have a way to start off. Um, like I said, I've got my wood. Um, Alright, time to drink a potion of swiftness. Um, sorry, hold on just a second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, okay, so I've got our potion of swiftness. I've got, I did cook up a stack of, um, beef there. That's all the meat I have, however, so, um, I am going to need to find more. There, there are a few creeper holes here from one night when I was out running around. Um, 
but nothing too serious. Alright, the sword I got is enchanted with Smite 4. Not fantastic, I only did a level 30 enchantment, I think, because I didn't feel like sitting around for the entire, um, <laughs> like, 20 minutes that it takes to get. Or not even that, probably takes like a half hour to get, um, around 50. But, you know, it's okay. It's not like it really matters, I mean, the enchantment's just for, just for fun, really, I guess. Um, because, like, on a diamond sword, the only things that are actually good are, like, loot, um, or looting, or something, um, because that gives you more drops, and actually, guys, we might be going over an ocean here. Um, and there's knockback, which I personally like, um, that knocks things back. So it's pretty much like, I think it knocks them back like five blocks something. I've never actually, like, read up on it, I'm just guessing here. But, um, oh, that potion's totally going to waste because I'm getting in the boat. Oh well. I wonder if it speeds up the boat. That'd be funny. I think it'd be funny at least. Um, hop in and con continue going east. Okay, so we're off the map now. So we're probably somewhere around, like, coming off this middle area over here, just where that river leads into the ocean. Um, or something like that. <laughs> Um, so we should be going directly east, or staying pretty straight east. And I find it interesting that we hit an ocean. I, um... Oh, no, it won't happen. Um, I was thinking it'd be neat if we could hit a mushroom biome, but it's... not likely. <laughs> They're extremely rare, so... Looks like we're hitting another... plane? Planes? Plane... I don't know. Um, so that's, that's neat. Uh, that, that ocean. Oh. I am going to want to go back and check that ocean out sometime for, um, see if it has, or we're getting back in a boat soon, <laughs> so, because this island is just that. It's an island. Perfect place for a little home. But, like, like you know, um, <laughs> a little intermediary um, home on the ocean. It would make, yeah, <laughs> it would make it easier for travel. I could even make, like, a railway that just goes over the ocean. And, um, stop, make a stop here, and then from this place, actually, this place is a great place where I could branch off, like, I could make a little station here, and then just have minecarts run in through here, and that way I can, um, I can just hop on a mine, hop on a minecart, have it come here to this island, and then once I get to the island, I can then pick whichever direction I want to go, and, um, that works out great because that way I can put all the redstone stuff I want underground here and I won't hit anything like I would at home. Because um, I was thinking about doing it in the nether maybe at, at my house way back there. Um, or even just like somewhere around my house. But this works so much better because I can just, you know, set up my little railway and ride it here and then this will be the hub. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind that that little island is there. Um, hopefully, 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 I will be able to find it again. I should be able to. I went like straight out from there um, from my home. This is a big ocean. And am I still going in the right direction? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> oh, darn. 
It's the end of the episode. Um, Alright, well, I will record another one after this. And I'll... Yeah. So, um, I will be back soon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking out that little thing. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna end the video here, and I'll start another one. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.